Good evening. The market notched higher in early trade on data showing sustained buying by foreign funds. However, the market lost ground and hit a fresh intraday low in morning trade. The market came off lows in mid-morning trade but again hit a fresh intraday low in early afternoon trade. The market recovered from its lower level in afternoon trade. The Sensex slipped 132 points to close at 18,180 and the index hit an intraday high of 18,312 and an intraday low of 18,156 while the NSC Nifty lost 49 points to close at 5,456. The demand for gold in India rose by 94% to 365 tons in first half of 2010 as compared to 188.4 tons in first half of 2009 clearly indicating that there has been a rebound in the demand as compared to previous year. Tipla Limited today announced that its board of directors at its meeting held today has declared a special interim dividend of 80 paisa per equity share for face value of rupees 2 per share for the financial year ending 31st of March 2011 to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the company. The company announced that 6th of September has been fixed as the record date for determining the shareholders who will be entitled to receive the special interim dividend. The total payout including the dividend distribution tax would aggregate to approximately 750 million rupees. Shares of Sipla fell 2.6% to end at rupees 308.90. The stock hit a high of rupees 319.80 and a low of rupees 304.25 after opening at rupees 318. The total traded quantity on the counter stood at 7.84 lakh shares. The gains in shares of Prakash Steelage Limited have accelerated in the afternoon trade after a steady opening. The stock got listed today at Rs 118 on the BSE as against the issue price of Rs 110 and closed at an all day high of Rs 187.55 which is at a premium of 67%. All the BSE sectorial indices ended in the red, with the BSE Realty Index being the top loser. The index was down 3.5%, followed by BSE Consumer Durables Index, which was down 2%, and BSE Pharma Index was down 1.5%, and BSE Auto Index was also down 1.5%. Even the broader indices were under pressure. The BSE Mid Cap Index was down 1.6%, and the BSE Small Cap Index was down 1.5%. The markets in Asia also ended in the red. The Nikkei in Japan slipped 1.7%, Australia's S&P ended lower by 1.4%, Hang Seng Index in Hong Kong edged lower by 0.2% and Shanghai SE Composite slipped by 2%. Even the European indices were trading in the red. The DAX in Germany was down 0.3%, the CAC 40 of France was down 0.6% and the FTSE in the UK was down 0.4%. Outside the frontline indices, the big losers in the broader market were EIH, IRB Infra, J Corp, Sriram Transport and Aditya Birla Nuvo. On the other hand, the gainers included Nalco, OBC, Jubilant Organics, Procter & Gamble and Andhra Bank. That's it for the day. Thank you and have a great evening ahead.